Hey, it's your boy with the nappy hair. I'm getting for our family. Uh, sweating shit, making me all this angry. But besides me being ugly, uh, <laughs> I want to talk to you guys about coccidiosis, a disease that will wipe out your fat. Move, tipsy. A disease that will wipe your chicks out uh, real fast. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with it. Uh, and what I use to cure uh, coccidiosis, uh, I use Corid, but there's a lot of product out there just like, to main, mention a few, uh, Demetox, Soap Me, I never use those products, so can't even pronounce them, but Corid, it's the easiest to find and probably the cheapest product out here, well, here around me in, the, in California. Uh, it's what I use. I'll show you guys right now how it looks in the packet But um, I'll be showing you guys how I use it and For those that don't know what um, Cocidiosis is is a What the fuck It's just stepped like on a cactus <laughs> Alright, but uh Yeah, Cocidiosis is a uh, a disease Uh Stuff that you can notice that describes this disease is like your chicks, they're all sucked up. You don't know, you eat, you have feet in front of them. Um, they're all sucked up, pale face, skinny, skinny. You probably like see their cheekbones, yellow, skinny legs. Uh, yeah, they're just, you know, when they're sick, and that's. Most likely is coccidiosis. Uh, what causes this problem is just uh, either when you transfer them from like a brooder to like the dirt and like like all the uh, let's say if it's not clean, the housekeeping is not clean. It's dirty. Water's not being clean. All sort of stuff and it causes coccidiosis. Uh, this is why I use this kind of oh, I'm stepping on some right now. Some all my kids just have that it's just so because if they're eating constantly eating food from their uh, their waist, oh, that causes coccidiosis real quick. All my kids just have wire like that so. Their waist would just fall to the ground and they won't be either walking on their ways or eating you know food chicks how they just throw food everywhere so they'll be eating off there see in this case I have wire down there and so you should never even have to that's why I use that kind of wire for that but that's causes coccidiosis it's just a, a bad housekeeping uh, just waste eating drinking water by waste or just to mention a few uh drop a comment uh if you guys know what causes coccidiosis um but i'm gonna be showing you guys what i uh core and how i use it all right <laughs> so this is the this is replaced daily but there's cord in there but i'm gonna replace it just because i i replace it daily so and then i keep it on here with the shaded area just for the for the stags and pullets i have loose but i'm gonna be showing you guys how i use cord right now okay so here's my gallon it's my Cord. Cord. And, uh, let me know drop a comment if you guys would like to see how I use this this to be warm but that'll be probably another video if you guys want that um, so here's cord and um, oh yeah before I forget uh, another uh, symptom for coccidiosis uh, is uh, diarrhea so because coccidiosis is a bacteria 
bacteria infection so that's always a disease that causes diarrhea so but okay and what I like to do is uh, put the it's one tablespoon per gallon so I just eyeball it cause who can eyeball a tablespoon so so I just like one tablespoon through then so I just put that that should be good and I like to put like a little bit of water just a little bit not too because I put my pot my treatment first then the water just uh, you don't put your um, milk before your cereal, so. So, okay, so I do that. So, there it is. And then I use my pito right here to mix it. Okay, so there it is. Um, so there's the cord. Uh, and right now, uh, this is just prevention. Gracias a Dios, fucking none of my pullets right now or bags have cosidia. So, so the idea right now is just for prevention. Prevention is always always number one uh, first even without the the medicine you always want the prevention by just just cleaning up and housekeeping just housekeeping is always number one and then this is just to, to top it off and you're really not gonna get um cosidiosis Oh, and then, oh, another thing, um, I get the powders, it's 20%, uh, a lot of you guys use, uh, the liquid, yeah, I think the liquid's, uh, 10%, so, yeah, so, here's the cord, all mixed up, Okay, so there it is, guys. That's what I use to prevent cosidia. But if you guys do have the infection already, the cosidia, uh, you could treat your fowl for five days. Just give them core for five days. Take their water late night and and then in the morning, right in the morning, before the sun comes out, go give them fresh water so you know they're drinking it. And they could hopefully get cured because once you get cosidiosis, it's like it's like you're looking at a walking a dead dead chicken walking. And plus once you give it cord. <laughs> They're going through hell. They're, it's, it's a real bad pain. So, uh, there was one time when I got uh, cosidiosis, I treated them, but they ended up being small birds. So now if I do, and if it's just two or something, I separate them from the others before it spreads. And I just cook call them I just kill them so that's what I do but I hope this video helped and if it did make sure to give a like you can comment and subscribe if you like this content and uh, I want you just for fun you should look at my outfit 
some fucking dirty ass jeans and shit. And look at, look at my shoes. They're no socks. <laughs> I took off my boots and I couldn't find my sandals, so I just threw these on. But fuck you. <laughs> Alright, make sure to subscribe, guys.